13 year old kid like I was and you hear that that's the kind of riff that'll turn a boy into a man right there that's easily um, that's some of the most swaggering badass uh, riffing since uh, Muddy Waters or Howlin' Wolf like it's it's up there to me they really hit it with that song and the and the real I'll tell you that I mean as, as great as just that that main riff is uh, then Malcolm I, I believe it was Malcolm obviously I wasn't there in the room but but the Malcolm what he plays under the solo is that's what takes it way over the top that's uh, what Malcolm plays under the solo in the song back in black is my favorite ACDC moment on that album for sure and and maybe my favorite ACDC moment of all time it's, it's just <laughs> game over and that's 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 the kind of thing that separates the wheat from the chaff the men from the boys um anyone else would have filled that section up with a bunch of other stuff that doesn't need to be there and malcolm knew enough to just be like <laughs> That's it for me. That's I, I I wish every day to be that cool. <laughs> you know, like that's a that's that's a way of life right there. Just that's a whole way of life. And once you get that, you got it. You know what I mean? You you got something you can you can work with forever. And and that's just the rhythm parts. That's not even to talk about Angus's Waylon lead playing, which is ridiculous. My my favorite. Uh, little moment from the back in black solo uh is probably that 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 one he does when he starts the solo it goes into the fade out the the uh <laughs> That's just like hearing that as a kid, just going, ah, oh, that's the coolest, and thinking, I'll never be able to play that, you know. <laughs> but you know, I mean, and the fact that he does that while he's amping out the whole time on stage, he's, he's spazzing out, going back and forth, back and forth, and you look at the live films, and and he hits that. Uh, <laughs> doing the manic Chuck Berry walk. I mean, it's incredible, really. That What they've done is, is phenomenal. It'll, it'll live forever. And yeah, that song, that album, their whole career, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, goals for sure. Yeah. And especially when I think those guys were up and running again, like within six months or so after Bond died. So I mean, that's lightning speed. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I can I can understand and identify just a wee bit, and uh, and uh, he he obviously knocked it out of the park um, in every way. Um, I mean, just the the performance and and also and, and and just the just even even some of the lyrics, man. I mean, she told me to come, but I was already there. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, and 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 in the song Back in Black, forget the hearse because I'll never die. I remember that caught me as a kid too. It's like wow, like uh, just coming out defiant and uh, that badass riff, and then him screaming, forget the hearse because I'll never die. That's yeah, forget about it. That's killer. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, Brian Johnson, yeah. <laughs> We do 
that all the time. Ian Cantrell at Soundcheck will often just one of us will break into that song and, and the rest of the band will kick into it because it's just fun and it's um, and it's cool and it makes you feel cooler just doing it. So, yeah, Back in Black will live forever. The album, the song, and of course the band ACDC will live beyond forever. <laughs> <laughs> 